Disclaimer. Any modification or open or tampering with your computer, console, any sort of electrical goods, I will not be held responsible if you fuck it up. It's your fault. Right. Now I shall attempt to show you how to fix a Commodore 64 PLA chip failure. There's a few problems which can cause a black screen on boot up, RAM and so on, for the diagnostics which I'll place in the description there. Now, we shall begin. Here is a Commodore 64. Remove front case by removing one, two, three screws. When screws removed, flip. Okay, coming all over, left up case. I have already replaced the PLA in this system. On some forums I've noticed the PLA is up here and down here. Each one has a different model number. You have to identify what model your number is before you can order a replacement. I find that on law forums it says you have to disolder the old chip from underneath before you can replace this one. But I found on this particular model or system yours may be different, you may have to disolder it. You have firmly pulling up each side, the old chip was removed without damage to the board or prongs or where the chip slots in, leaving me to slot this one directly into position as so. If you wish to give your case clean when you do this, remove the ribbon and remove the power LED. Note which way it goes in. You don't. To call close the case, as you can see, there's little notches and grooves which you must line up all three, which I need the two hands for. So hold your horses. <laughs> Hello. I actually originally bought this from eBay as untested, no one had be faulty, to, to form a mini RTX mod. With a mini RTX, obviously. However, while waiting for it to arrive, I started playing the emulators and bollocks. And so reminiscent and hoped it worked by the time it arrived, it didn't. So find out what was wrong with it and repaired it. You can see it's fully working but it's probably really crap quality because of the CRTV telly. You probably see lines all over it. There you are anyway. Tools.